Hey guys! Okay, welcome back to my channel. I did this super smoky smoky look. It's like smoke with a pop of color. Um, and I'm wearing some falsies, even though I usually don't wear falsies, but I went ahead and wore these flawless premium Remy hair um, lashes, and it is the number 801. Thank you so much for um, participating in this giveaway. I'm super excited. It's of the amazing Jaclyn Hill palette, ladies and gentlemen, which um, you will see after this of my reaction to it, my first time using it, um, some swatches, and of course I go over like some things that I like about it. Honestly, the only thing that I, the only negative I have to say about it is that it's, um, I mean, I guess that it may make the packaging a little discolored in the future at some point, but I'm not really worried really about it. <laughs> so, um, this is like my favorite palette I think that I've ever owned personally. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I'm wearing my hair up in this little funny bun. Maybe I should zoom out a little bit. So you can see this look that I did. It's a very, very spooky look. Um, and I'm wearing lip scents. I did like a pink color caramel latte and salmon mixed together. Um, but then I put on top the opal gloss. So you can see if you haven't tried our smudge proof kiss proof lipsticks, you should still get them. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed. You can see the orange pulled through a little bit more now that I just showed you the demo. Sorry, I keep zooming in and out. Okay, I'm situated. <sighs> so this gloss right here, mm, so pretty, so moisturizing. But anyways, alright ladies, so let's get into the giveaway. I'm so excited to do this giveaway. If you want to see how I got this look, then continue watching after this. Um, I'm super excited. Oh, and if also if you want to see the review and you want to see some swatches on my arm and all that stuff, continue watching. I'm super, 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 super excited to see who wins. So what I did was I wrote everyone's name down um, and because I don't have like a generator system yet, but I do have this random number generator. Um, so sometimes I type in every, I put in everyone's name manually, but it was way too many people this time. Sorry. <laughs> I went a little heavy with the gloss. Um, it was way too many people this time to do that. So I num I numbered people and then I'm going to pick a number using this random number generator. So let's do this. I'm excited. I'm excited. So excited and nervous to see who wins. All right. Sorry, I'm looking for the random number picker. So it's going to pick a random number, and that's going to be who the winner is. Okay, ready? One, two, you guys can see. Random generator. Oh, let me put the max number. Okay, let's see who wins. Oh my gosh, there's a winner. The number, the winner is number 64. I don't know who it is yet. I gotta look. One minute. So, the winner is Shannon Ortega. Shannon Ortega. I am so excited. So, here is your palette. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you. Um... And of course, I'll need to message you so I can get your address and all that stuff. But this is yours. It's completely unopened. Brand new. Um, ladies, don't worry. I think I'm going to do another Jaclyn Hill palette giveaway because honestly, this is the best palette ever, as you will see in my review. This is by far my favorite palette. So... <sighs> I don't even know what else to say except I'm so excited for you and please watch the rest of my videos so you can see how to get pretty. I think that the pink lip made it look a little more summery um, versus how smoky I made it. <laughs> and I hope that you guys have a good day. Shannon, I'm so excited for you um, and I love you guys and 
I will, um, oh, if you want to get some lippies, the Smudge Proof Kiss Proof Lippies, make sure that you click my link right here, um, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, um, either right there, the little subscribe button, put on your notifications so you always know when I post a new video, which will be once a week, or you can hit the subscribe button Hi. right here. Uh, review and also my little tutorial. Bye. Lucky. Guess what, guys? Guess what? It's time to do the giveaway. Okay, I have literally not played with these shadows because I was waiting until I did the giveaway. So I'm just gonna do a quick review because I'm gonna do like an actual in depth review. Um, uh, after I do my makeup so I just want to like show you guys okay so this is the box super soft I love it personally I've heard different reviews about it but I like it it's like you can see shiny here yes it's got like this silver looking thing and then on the back it's got her photo she's beautiful she's so pretty I love that red hair I wish I could wear that and on the back it just talks about um, how she created this and it was like a dream come true You'll see it. The winners will see it. Um, and yeah, super exciting. And it says XO Jacqueline on the back. I'm not going to read it because honestly, there's so many reviews. I'm not going to read what that thing says. <laughs> okay, so then you take it out. It comes in this little plastic wrap here, which I just slid out. And then this is what the palette itself looks like. Super pretty. And it's got in the back. It's got Morphe times Jaclyn Hill, and then it actually has, I don't know if you can see, it has like little JH all over it. Um, so it's a white, hard, like, cardboard, but a really thick cardboard, and then when you open it, ah, oh, can you guys, hold on. Okay, and then when you open it, it comes with this little protective sheet. Oh my gosh, do you see the colors? They're so pretty. Hello, beautiful. Hello. All right, let me put this down so it doesn't get messed up. And then I have the second one completely untouched right here. Yes, girl, yes. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to keep this in the box so I don't get it dirty or anything. So, as you can see, it's got perfect shades, like some aquas, blue tones, um, like a smoked uh, green color, a hunter green, but like a little gray black tint to it, deep chocolate brown. And this is like a plum, a deep, deep plum, almost black. I don't know if you can see it. But you can see how pretty these colors are. Oh my gosh. And we're, of course, going to do swatches. But I'm going to do swatches. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the swatches really, really quick. And I'm going to put them on my arm, swatch them on my arm. And so let's start with... <gasps> so pretty. So I have the color sheet here. Um, this is Pool Party. Pool party. Ooh, that's pretty. They're very creamy. Very creamy and very pigmented. This is like, I barely did anything. Then next is Jada. Yes, I started with these because they're like, oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. It's like this gorgeous matte. Like, this is one of my favorite colors. Matte, like, I don't even know what this is called. Like, Jade. Yeah, but it's... Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then next we're doing Diva. Diva is a that smoked green I was talking about. I'm going to go a little faster. Enchant. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Enchanted is beautiful. I don't know if you can see it, but you will, whoever the winner is. It's a deep, deep green. Like, almost like um that stuff that people use in their smoothies. <laughs> I don't know, that probably doesn't sound very appealing, but... Anywho, you get it, you get it. I went ahead, I can't believe I'm doing this without even having the products on, but I really want to like experience it with you guys for like the first time. Like all of the beautiful 
just beautifulness of it. I just want to experience it with you guys for the first time. Okay, so next is Central Park. This is a chocolate brown, a true chocolate brown. And then next is Soda Pop. Can you see it? Soda pop. And then next is Abyss, which is a true deep black that you could literally just do pretty much any um, smoky eye with, smoke out your lower lash line, or just add like a little depth to your look. That's usually just for smokies, at least for me. So here is the bottom row, right? Here, which is royalty is the first one super creamy and then twerk whoa I thought twerk was gonna be like a blue well it is like bluish but on my arm it looks purple it's really pretty and then um, hustle Ooh, that's a pretty shimmer like a mauve tone. That's pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm so ex Whoa, that's buttery. Okay, Meeks is like butter. It's literally like a butter. Literally, like it feels like butter. I've never had a palette that felt like that before. Like, you know, the ColourPop ones are kind of cream, like buttery. That's what it feels like. And then we're going to go in with next 24-7 which is another one that's kind of buttery, but not as buttery. This is like a chocolate brown shimmer. It's like a milk chocolate, almost. It's so pretty. I'm so excited about this. This is probably gonna be my favorite palette. Like, right now, it's my favorite palette with just all the colors and the finishes. Um, this is absolutely amazing. It's really pretty. This is called Chip. So it literally looks like a chocolate chip, um, like complete chocolate chip. So this is like a milk chocolate brown taupe, like a brown orange tone. And then this is like a true chocolatey chip color, if you can see. <clears throat> and then next, last on there is Mocha, which looks like Mocha. I actually have a lipstick that is called Mocha, and it, it looks just like this. Well, no, actually. But it looks like the way it looks in the pan, but... Okay, so on the arm... Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna love doing looks with that. That's mocha. Super pretty. So that's the second row. From the bottom right here. And then... <clears throat> then we're gonna do... The third row, Obsessed. This looks like a diamond. Ooh, that's like a milk. That's like a butter, too. Literally feels like I'm sticking my finger in butter. That is called Obsessed. Yeah. I watched her review, and she said it's because she's obsessed with it. Like, what? I might actually do another giveaway of this, because this is by far the best palette I've ever had in my life. Like, and I have a lot of palettes, and I have a lot of shadows, and I'm sorry, but... The mixture of of textures and all that too. This feels like butter. This one is called Espion. This one is um, like a rose gold. Yep, rose gold. It's these two are very shimmer, shimmer shade. And then this is Hissel Hillster. Sorry, Hissel. This is Hillster. Um, Hillster is like a bronze, like a really pretty copper color, like coppery bronze, if you can see. It's so pretty. And then Ro Roxanne is like a burnt orange, like pumpkin. Like it makes you think of fall. Like this is going to be such a pretty color to make fall looks with. Ooh, it's almost like a matched version of Hillster. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It looks almost like a matte version of that. <clears throat> and then next we have Jax. 
which is her one of her nicknames. Pretty sure. Yeah. Um, and that is like a cherry bomb. Sorry, I'm like cherry bomb red. Like a cherry bomb. I'm calling it cherry bomb. It's like it reminds me of Coca Cola, like a cherry Coca Cola for some reason. It's really pretty. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Like, this is my first time even swatching these, and I am like. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I have to say this is my definitely my favorite, without a doubt. This is Buns, which that's a cute name. <laughs> it looks like like tanned body. <laughs> buns. Buns. Sorry, the swatches are like not that great. I should be going up so it stays in unison, but oh well. Okay, and then Carn Cran Apple is the last shade on the third row. In the center this is the middle row this one also feels exactly like butter and it looks like um yeah apple like a bright this one oh man that is so pretty can you see oh, let me do it on the back of my arm here I should be doing it on the front of my arm I can do it like that with the rest of them very pretty color these are super pigmented, BTW. BT dubs. I love them. Okay. So this is going to be a long, a long video, I think. I think it is. I'm not sure, but we'll see. All right, so that was the third row. Super pretty. And then the next one, ooh, this is going to be so pretty. Creamsicle. Um... Creamsicle is literally look like a cream. This is like my favorite type of shade. I have some like this, but not quite like it. Here's Creamsicle. Very pretty. And next we have Butter. That looks like a um, ooh, perfect transition shade. Yes. It reminds me of a color that I love in the Chocolate Bar palette. This one is a little... Not as opaque, I feel like. It's a very, like I said, it's very good for a transition shade. If you can see. Very pretty. Then next is Pooder. Ooh, Pooder feels like butter. Ooh, that's soft. Oops. You have to be really gentle with that one. That one's like breaking up real bad. It's breaking up. Okay, here's Pooder. And then next we have Pukey. Pukey. She described it as like a puke color, which it is. It's pretty. And then Hunts. Ooh, Firework. That's butter. But it looks like a firework for show. Ooh, do you guys see that though? It. It's like butter. When I say it's like butter, it's literally like butter. Mm. These go really far too. Okay. And then next, the last one on the fourth row or the second row to the top is Queen, which I'm pretty sure is also butter just by looking at it. It's like a, I think she said they had like a um, micro chrome or chrome finish. That is called. Clean. So that's this one here. And then we're going to do. I don't even know what kind of look I'm going to do. I'm going to do something really fab. But I don't know what I'll do. Okay, and then the top row we got in light. That feels like satin. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't have anything like this. That's a pretty color. And then beam. So these two look similar on here, but I will say in person, this one is more pearl beam. The other one is more like a white. And it's also got more uh, 
chrome look to it more of a chrome look silk cream ooh, which is what it feels like that's another beautiful transition shade it almost matches my skin tone but it's a little dark a little um i'm trying to think a little lighter and then m f e o that one you really can't see too well on me you can but not on the camera probably let me see if i can just show you on here what it looks like yeah you can see it okay and then next we have faint that's also very buttery that's like a diamond pink a diamond pink color And then next is Sissy. Ooh, I love Sissy. That's pretty. That is so beautiful. I love that. That's like every girl's dream. It's like a pretty like pink, purple, yellow. It's so pretty. You probably can't see it. Ugh, it looks so good. It's like gold. It's like a mermaid unicorn color. That's what it reminds me of. Very pretty. And then last is Lil Lady. Again, another butter, 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 butter eyeshadow. Ooh, that's peach. That's like a perfect peach um, shimmer shade. I'm obsessed with that. It's not quite rose gold. It's literally peach. You see it? Okay. So that's all the colors, and I'm my review on this is swatched. I'm obsessed. Now, next, the test is doing a look with it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a look, and I'm super excited about that. Okay, I'm going to do... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a look, and let's... Okay, I'm finishing up putting my concealer on. Sorry. Here we go. I'm just doing that so um, the shades pop a bit more. So yeah, I'm gonna start with a nice transition shade um, using my unicorn brush, Tarte Unicorn. I think I'm gonna start with um, Creamsicle. Ooh, these are really, 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 really pigmented. I barely put it in there and look at that. I had to like tap the excess off. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing. I think that this is what it looks like with all the swatches. It's not too bad. Ooh, my eyelashes stuck on there. Come on, get off little baby eyelashes. It doesn't look too dirty. I remember some people were saying, like, they think it's going to get really dirty, da da da. I'm like, eh, I don't think it'll be too bad. I mean, maybe. But you can wipe it down with a makeup wipe. Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. Do you see this? Girl. Okay. It looks so... Nice. Alright. So I'm using that. It's super creamy, super pigmented. It feels amazing on the lids. You can tell she really put her time and effort in this and took her time and love and care because one, it took, I know it took her like two years, but I love Jaclyn Hill and this palette just made me love her even more. <laughs> no, but I follow her on Snapchat. I literally love her. She's so sweet. She's super sweet. Okay, so this is a nice, ooh, nice transition. Nice all over color. And then I am gonna use a little bit of, I should put tape on my eyes. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna put a little tape on them so gently. My eyes will be super sharp because I'm trying not to make this video too, too long. Hopefully it's not going to be like crazy long, guys. Okay, so the power of tape. Here we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, well, my tape is gone, so I'm going to have to do what we can with it. <laughs> Let me get some new tape. All right, so next I'm going to go in... 
with this. Okay, let me pull out my my um, brushes here. The Morphe shadow brushes that I love. Morphe, you is my baby. Okay. So, making sure there's no shadows on these the other time. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with, I think, let's see here. Hunts? Should I do hunts? Is it, I should do try and do something different. But I'm going to use Pukey. I'm using my Morphe Y15 brush. Pukey. And going over the same color. I mean the same where um, Dreamsicle was. To the other side, this is Pukey again. Just so it looks very well blended. So excited to do this video. That is so pretty. Okay, and then next I'm going to use um, with this blending brush here. Yeah, it doesn't have anything on it. Good. Um, it's just stained. It doesn't have any color. So it's not messing up the... So you can see it's not colored or anything. Um, next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of... Ooh, what should I do? What should I do? Ooh, should I do a chocolate brown? I think I'm going to do Chip. Or, ooh, no, I'll do Jax. I'm going to go in with Jax. Right in the inner corner, the outer V here. Oh my goodness. This is, I feel like this palette's going to go down in history. This is the best. I'm obsessed with this palette. I cannot wait for it to come back out. I think I'm going to do another giveaway. Look at that. I'm just... <sighs> okay, this is Jax. I am loving this right here. And I'm going to blend it with um, my Morphe. Brush. Alright, so really blending these together. Making it nice and seamless. Okay. And then um, I'm going to use my spray because I love this brush to add just a little bit more on top of a little bit more of the pukey color just a little bit on top there we go do you guys love this or what these colors are so beautiful i'm so obsessed i hope that me looking down is really giving you the full effect okay just making sure it's super blended all right next let's see what should i do oh what color should i use i don't know there's so many beautiful colors oh my gosh i like have no idea okay I'm going to pop on a color on the lid. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit more right here. Right, right, right here. And I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics 112, 122 brush to pop in a little bit more right here. This time, I'm going to use... Ooh, what should I use? I'm obsessed with these colors. I don't even know. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit of... So I didn't do use I didn't use hunts yet. And I'm going to pop that right here. Ooh. Just giving it like a super ombre. Ombre. Just a little bit. Yes, hunties, yes. Okay, 
Just blending that all nice together. Making sure it's seamless, perfectly blended. And I think I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny bit more of, what was that called? Uh, Jacks. Just a little bit more and go above it again. Like, this is just, <sighs> how these are so pretty. Okay. So, I think I am going to go, I'm going to go, like, cray-cray and use, I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to do this pinky purpley color. Oh my goodness, I love this. I'm using Jade. What? Ooh, that color is so pretty. I love this color, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go on top of it with Twerk. Twerk is giving me so much life. Okay, so I'm back and since I had a hard time choosing what I wanted to do on the lid, I am just going to show you what I did on the other lid, on this lid. So I went in with Jade and then, ooh, and that's really pretty, right? But I took the other side and I went in with Twerk and I put it right on the end right here. Okay, so there is a little fallout with this color. I'm going to need to brush. Ooh. I'm probably going to need... Um, that's okay, though. It's not... Actually, it's not super bad, but it's... I didn't... I didn't really pat off the excess, so... Alright, so... Just going to put in... a little bit of twerk. And putting it right here on the end. Ooh, give me life. Give me so much life. So you can see what I did with that. And then I went back over it with Jade just to deepen it. And then I'm actually going to go over both of them again with Twerk. Just because I really want those colors to pop. So going back over it again. With twerky twerky. That's perfection. So I'm gonna take Jacks again. Jacks, 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 I love you. That's looking really pretty. Okay, and then taking my Morphe brush just to blend out this. And I'm gonna just wipe this again. Okay guys, so this is what I have so far. I'm loving it. And I think I am gonna smoke out the lower lash line. Using my Morphe Y20 brush, I am going... <sighs> okay, so I'm worried that was gonna happen. Okay, so the palette is getting a little dirty. That's okay. All right, so 
I'm going to take this Jack's color with a little bit of hunts afterwards. I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Oh, I need to take off my teeth. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to uh, smoke out the lower lash line. Okay guys, so now I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line here using my Morphe Y20 brush and don't worry, I'm going to fix the tape area. Okay, and I'm using Jax. Okay guys, so sorry, um, I finished up the rest of my makeup off camera. Uh, for the tutorial and yeah you pretty much got the gist of what I did here so I used onyx for my wing liner onyx shadow sense which is our amazing shadows um, and then I used salmon and caramel latte which are these two orange tone this is like a nude orange tone this is like a bright 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 orange um, let me show you this color and then I mixed it on the back of my hand, these two colors, and I made this like orange, bright orangey um, color, and but it was like a toned down orange, and then I put opal gloss on top, so it gave it like this hot, almost like this baby doll pink color. Um, I'm trying to think, it's like a coral, yeah, I said baby doll pink, what am I talking about? It turned it into a coral, basically, so I really like it. Um, and then on my eyes, all I did was put on my falsies here, which I talked about at the beginning of the video. So anyways, I just wanted to come on, oh, and my eyebrows, I used Anastasia Dip Brow, uh, a medium brown right here. So you can see medium brown, can you see it? Dip Brow. And I love this stuff. And then um, to do the brows, to fill it in, I use the Anastasia number no. 7 um, brush for my brows. Let me show you. Right here. This brush. And I love it. Perfection for the brows. And then for my under brow bone highlights, I use the Anastasia brow pencil. Um, super easy to use when you're... I'm kind of in a rush because I have so much work to do today. And I just use that underneath and then I lightly pat it out. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, sorry I didn't do the whole entire thing on camera, but I didn't really want to take up that much time. Oh, and my highlights is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics King Tut. I really like this highlight. Ooh. It's super pretty color. Love it, love it, love it. And my bronzer, I use my NARS bronzer in Casino for to warm up my face. And I just use this brush Morphe Y4 brush. And I just take it and go like that. Just to warm it up and I go around my face and my neck here, my jawline I mean. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I'm so excited for the winner, um, and I will be messaging you, and of course there's going to be another giveaway that I'll be doing in a few weeks. I think I'll be announcing the winner in about three weeks of that, and surprise, surprise, it will be, of course, the Urban Decay palette, the heat one, but I honestly may also do another Jaclyn Hill palette. You guys let me know in the comments below which one you would prefer. Alright, talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah! Subscribe!